Oh my god. And well, all right. Hey guys, welcome to 40,000 subscribers. What? I'm 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 sh I'm I don't know. I'm thankful, grateful. Uh, this is all really a trip. So anyway, as a special thing here, I guess, for 40,000 subscribers, I dug up some old tape. We are going to watch me from 2002. So I've been playing jazz and playing big bands since I was in high school. But as I've continued to always study jazz and always play jazz and always play in big bands and different groups, I also would kind of veer off <laughs> and I would, you know, play in... Uh, at this time, I was playing in different punk bands, also funk bands and calypso bands and ska bands and all these different things. Jazz was always the main thing, but I always kind of ducked off and did other stuff. So this is from that punk stuff. And I, I'll tell you how much of a nerd I was when I was doing this kind of music. The first gig I got playing in one of these bands, we had a gig in a week and I had to learn all the songs but they didn't have any recordings of the songs. So I sat down with the guys and I wrote drum charts. And on our first gig, I had a music stand on stage with a drum chart that I was reading. I wasn't sight reading it, but I was reading it. After that, a couple years later, here's this with me in this band. Um, so let's check it out. This is, uh, the name of the band is All In Good Time. So let's let the cringe begin. Playing in a punk band, let's click it. Here we go. Yikes. Oh, this is gonna sound like shit. Oh, boy. Look at that fucking hunk. Oh, man. That's a, that's a better angle, Mom. My mom filming. So my mom and my dad and my brother were in the audience. See, I used, thought I, I used to sit... Well, I guess I am kind of low and I'm slouching. Oh, man. 20 years old. That's the uh, sober beat. Almost. Almost the sober beat. Wow. Look at how big I was. That's a, there's a lot of muscle in there, though. I was lifting at the time, I think. Yeah, nice, nice cymbal feel. Black da go go go. This fucking Josh already balding at 22 years old. Okay, there's our little intro. I don't know how much of this I can watch. Same beat again. Kinda. I like that. It's uh. I'm not overplaying yet. Uh oh. I'm playing this offbeat groove, and the tempo would always take off. Oops. Oops. <laughs> That's one of my favorite beats that I played, though. It's got this cool, like, 
the right hand playing off beats on the floor tom Yeah, we, none of our songs had choruses or verses. Ooh, that was a cool little fill. We had no verses or choruses, we just had like sections. So that's why I always called it prog punk, because it was like, there's nothing catchy about it, there's no song structure. It's just an A section, a B section, a C section, a D section, and an E section, and an F section, and then an uh, end. I was in good fucking shape, man. Like, uh, playing wise, like, I'm a little fat dude, but I could play, man. Look at the. Playing hard. Clean. I'll give myself clean. Lot of symbols hitting the lot of symbols. I know at some point I will beat the shit out of that China, so. This dude can play drums. Overplaying. Overplaying. Now that I'm warmed up, I'm gonna you're gonna start seeing me fucking overplay way too much. Overplaying like a 20 year old, damn it. Nobody's singing background vocals. My little mambo, my little punk mambo. <laughs> Cool, Phil. See, because when you're 20, you want to make sure everybody knows that you're a good drummer. Everybody has to know that. So you fucking overplay. When you realize you don't need to overplay, you just need to play the song and, set, and like, play it. counted the song off too fast so when we got to that section I couldn't play my drags on the hi-hat so it sounded like ass because that was supposed to be ba -ba 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 -ba. It sounded like shit oops
Wish I could hear the bass drum because I'm playing some really cool shit with the right with the bass drum. Up and up, 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 Kick a feel, bro. Ooh. No wonder all those symbols cracked. Beat the shit out of the China sitting next to you. Oh, if there, if there's nothing left of it. You can see it's a. It's like three quarters of a China symbol. <laughs> Ooh, you can see my my hand starting to crap out on some of that stuff on some of those on some of those parts. Who are these? Do they were they even there to see us? I don't even know. I don't remember who we played with. Nothing. I remember nothing. But I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I, I left. I lost a hoodie and my drum rug that day. I'm really into the ding, da, da, ding, da, da, ding, da, da, ding, da, da, ding. See. I still remember it. Oops. Dragon. Double stops. Almost fucking botched it. Probably did a little bit. The sound is so shitty I didn't notice. Fiddly dead, fiddly dead, fiddly dead, fiddly dead, fiddly dead. Prague, like, <laughs> they're like trying to get a record deal and sending people demos that are like, yeah, this song just says ten parts. There's no chorus. Why don't you pick us up? It's nothing to sing along to. And your drummer plays too much. <laughs> oh. My God, the 90s, man. That transition, or the 2000s, I guess. Because this is all fashion left over from the late 90s. What's up there, little kid? Just whatever tempo.
The roar of the crowd of 25 people. I just, I can't, I'm, I'm, a, I'm actually like kind of impressed, man. Like, I had some hands, I had some feet. I mean, I still got hands and feet. I'm not like, dog, they're just different hands and feet. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't last 40 minutes of this shit. I'd be hurting, and I would need to train. I would have to actually go through like a physical therapy training with a professional trainer program to like stay on top of all the right things so that I can not hurt myself and still get to that point. Those are SD1 generals too. Those are big boy, those are some big sticks. Those are big boy sticks. Good, because I'm a big boy. I'm a big boy there. I don't know why I was using a 20 inch bass drum. It's a little stick flip in the fucking thing. This man, this guy has command over his drums, I'll tell you that much. See, that shit's not safe. You can't do jazz fills in, in punk bands as often as you think. Because <laughs> you'll fuck up the rhythm guitar player sometimes. I guess, I mean, I'm not embarrassed by it, that's for sure. If I had this tape on digital years ago, I probably would have posted it. Just the chubby, the little chubby bunny boy. Just drinking too much beer. Eating too many pepperoni pizzas, man. This is I, this is still my drum set. This is still my drum set. I still use this drum set. All of those symbols are long gone, except that ride. I think I still have that ride. He's a loud. He's, he's a fucking really loud, like really solid drummer that needs to be more mindful of the music he's playing. Ah. Surprising myself, man. Pulling some shit out. Last song. Here we go. The big, the big finish. Here we go into the big finish. You ready? Kick. Count the fucking thing off. Too fast. Too fast. Himiola. Yeah, there's so many things I would rewrite about. Like, I'm already thinking of different fills I would play. 
and without having to work so hard. It would sound better. It's so funny. I used to love playing this. I always wanted it to sway more. Get kind of drunk. And then fucking take off again. Oh shit, Josh's strap fell off. Oh shit, I just played something cool. Dude, he's like barely hanging on. Somebody help him. I like that little splash up there like that. That's kind of neat. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> oh my god. So dramatic. Fucking done. What the fuck was that? Jesus Christ. Wow. Whew, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. That shit looks so exhausting. Wow. 18 years ago. Yeah, I was thinking it was 20 years old. Almost 21. Had been, I after going to college to be a drummer and be a percussion major, I, dr I quit to <laughs> do this. What a fucking... Like, I loved all the time I had with these guys. I love all of them. They're brothers. I'm not knocking, like, it was, but it was kind of like, I should have gone back to fucking college. Like, come on. Uh, but whatever. Things happen. You change your life and you end up where you are. And I'm happy where I'm at. So uh, this is <laughs> to live a life, you know, be in jazz, you know, playing combos and dinner dance music and shit like that. Big bands. And have these little branches of shit where I had to like, I had to learn how to play like this. I was like, I don't know this music. I got to get some CDs and they burned some stuff for me. And I got some mixes and these things. And I started learning this style in like 99, 2000, maybe. <clears throat> and, well, and <laughs> trying to put this shit together. That's what I think that I think we were one of the few prog punk bands that ever existed that I know of. Cause that's all the only way I can describe it. When you have zero verses, zero choruses, you just play an A section, a B section, and you just kind of fucking go wherever with it. It was a lot of fun. It's, it's very cathartic to play like that. I remember always feeling really uh, like a, uh, I couldn't go to sleep. I couldn't, I always had a lot of energy after I was done, even though I was exhausted. I was still like adrenaline had me like amped because you're putting so much into it. And this is for a skate park show for like 30, 40 kids, maybe. And I, I wish I could remember who we played with. Um, but yeah, fuck wild, wild. Anyway, that was it. That's me 20 years ago. I got to edit this down to nothing. See you.